Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the Market Site in Times Square, we have Chris Dearborn. He's the Managing Director on NASDAQ's Market Intelligence Desk. The Fed decision is in. We cut by 25 basis points. Chris, let's get this instant reaction here. We have all three of the major averages firmly in the red off the announcement. We, they started out out of the gate a little bit lower because all they got really was the quarter point basis cut. They rallied back a little bit as people read into it and some of the reporters who got to look at the report beforehand started to dig into it a little bit. But really what we're looking at here is just a little bit of weakness. It wasn't enough for traders to really like it or hate it. It's just kind of a leakage point. The question is, what is he going to say in about 15 minutes mm -hmm. at the press conference? All right, the one thing that was kind of interesting on it was the household spending has been rising at a very strong pace, which is backed up by a lot of the economic data that we have. But however, business fixed investments and exports have weakened. That's obvious. Right. With the China trade issue going on right now, a strengthening dollar, you know, what you have here really is exactly that. So they're not saying anything that if you're paying attention to the economy, you don't already know. So we need to see what he says in 15 minutes, and then we need to look at what the minutes come out and say two weeks later to kind of delve into what they're having. Hopefully between what he says today and that two-week period, most of the members will be out and speaking in public and kind of make their thoughts known. Um, really, that'll be the point and the, really the crux of what's going on here. You know, we're still relatively close to the all-time highs of the markets here. And, you know, and here we go, our 52-week, the, right, the larger the picture. S&P 52-week high. You know, only made back at the end of July, again, right before the Fed meeting. Mm -hmm. And look what we did today. We're within, you know, a stone throw of that old high. We're selling off a little bit here. The markets have been relatively stable uh, today and yesterday. Uh, you know, again, Monday was an anomaly with, with what happened in Saudi Arabia. But, you know, but the markets really sold off significantly there. But they've kind of come back a little bit here. Again, we're still trading above all major moving averages. The market is still trading at all-time highs. Uh, digging into this number right now, we'll take a look at it and we'll put some more notes out in the midday report tomorrow. But it doesn't seem like it's really much of anything that wasn't expected. All right, let's wrap it up with Bitcoin yep. because this is really interesting to watch around Fed days and when Absolutely. we get tariff talk coming out and, and interest rate policy. Right, so Brian put this together again for us today. Does a really good job. What you're looking at is the significant movement from Bitcoin from early and late spring to where we were back in July it is an overbought situation. The RSI is extremely high. And what you're coming into here is a traditional triangle pattern. What it's looking at here is a possible retest of the 9,100 support level. If Bitcoin can support, find support here, you're going to be off to those highs that we made back in July. However, if it fails, you have a lot of room to the downside. All right, Chris. As always, we got to get you back upstairs to that desk <laughs> for, for uh, when the presser comes out. Thank you for joining us today on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.